Welcome to another episode, another season of the INA show. <laughs> we're back. We're back. We, well, we've always been here, haven't we? We, mm -hmm. we, we never left. <laughs> um, we're back, and uh, one thing I want to just make a quick note of is that we are in 4K. 4K. So let us know if it looks any better. 4K, is it... 1080. 4K, 1080. <laughs> <laughs> is it going to make us look better? Are we going to be more handsome? I'm probably going to get more wrinkles, more sharper lines, more crow's feet, you know. Well, we're getting old. <laughs> yeah. But uh, today, we want to dedicate this episode, um, we're returning from hiatus, we want to dedicate this episode to our good buddy, Jose. Classic Jose. Classic Jose. So th <laughs> this one's for, for Jose, and I think it's a good one. We're talking about the Batman vs Superman trailer, trailer number two. Yep. So this came out a couple of days ago. We've all, I'm sure we've all seen it. Uh, let's just get into it. There's plenty to talk about. Cool. First thing that I want to make note of is that this movie is rated PG-13, yep. which is which we all expected that. That's fine. Intense violence throughout. Yeah, which is expected. Some sensuality. Which is somewhat not accept expected. Did you notice that? Some sensuality. I, I didn't until you actually meant, called it out and mentioned it. So. Some sensuality. Now, this has me quite interested. I guess this is the, you know, the 13-year-old uh, the in me, but what, what, what can it... <laughs> <laughs> now, we know that Batman vs Superman, we know that Wonder Woman's in it, so some sensuality. So we're gonna see some side boob, under boob, well, boob, uh, top boob, nipple boob. <laughs> this is, I guess we'll find out in March of next year, but <laughs> yeah, right. like, but some sensuality, is that not a weird rating? It is, it is weird, have? it is weird, but um, especially for a title that says Batman vs Superman Dawn of Justice. I guess it could so. be Batman suiting up and, uh, you know, yeah, or, or Superman, does he, no, he's not really, you know. But maybe. Well, well, oh, Batman, Batman, Batman. Bruce Wayne has a reputation. Bruce Wayne has yeah, a reputation. Yeah, maybe that's what that. it is. So, hmm. Some sensuality. Well, Anyways, we'll find out soon enough. Let's check this out. Let's check this trailer out. Okay. So there we go. Intense sequences for our violence and action throughout and some sensuality. Opening shot. I'm okay with it. So and look. Now. Oh, we know. <laughs> I said this before. Like, um... This trailer now, I actually like the way this starts, except for this scene where, now in what world is Bruce Wayne driving himself? Like, come on, Alfred. Where's, where, Al yeah, where's Alfred? Alfred. Alfred. <laughs> where is he? Now, do you like the way that Clark Kent and Bruce Wayne look? Yeah, it's fine to me. Just fine. I think it looks. I, I think they look good. Henry Cavill looks good. Old Bruce Wayne looks good. I like the clothing that they wear suits them. Like he's got that jacket, like tweed yeah. jacket. Yeah. Mm. Yeah. All right. I get it. This looks cool as well. I I really like all of this stuff so far. Mm hmm. This exchange, you know, is really good. I'm sure there's going to be witty dialogue mm. comments in there, right? Man, I wish I looked like Henry Cavill. I mean, look at that scene. It's just... It's a that's... suit! Hey, it's a suit! It's all the, the padding in the suit, yeah. right? <laughs> this is all good. Like, to, to me, I, I'm enjoying this so far. I mm -hmm. think this is starting off really promisingly. And then there is this part. Onwards. He's super. Thanks for asking. This is Jesse. <laughs> this is Jesse Eisenberg playing Jesse Eisenberg. Really, you know. It is. It is. But I think that's okay. It doesn't scream Lex Luthor. Lex Luthor. It doesn't. Me. But I have a problem from that point onwards. It's just like a no go. Now, see, this is again Luther saying the great, the biggest. What is it? The greatest lie in history. Didn't he? Okay. Now we just saw Alfred. Now, is that Alfred or is that Bruce Wayne's brother? Because they look the same to me. They look the same age as well, right? Ish. Now, this all looks cool. The, the, the design of the suits. The Batwing, presumably. So there's going to be a lot of action. Like, that, that much we can conclude from this And trailer. I think it's going to be fine with a lot of action, but... Hmm. Like, all, all, this, all this action is good. <laughs> I like that line, you know, if I wanted it, you'd be dead already, because we all know that deep down Superman is so much more powerful than Batman. Zod. General Zod. So Lex Luthor is now Dr. Frankenstein. But that's fine. No, that This I have a problem with. Yeah, he's definitely going to cuss. <laughs> Well, that wasn't in the um, the ratings. I'm going to complain to the, um, the Motion Picture Association. Mm hmm. There's your sensuality right there. That could. <laughs> there, there was nothing sensual. I, I'm completely flaccid even when I say that. So Batman with a gun. So it's the Holy Trinity. Is that what they call it? DC Holy Trinity. Yeah. Okay, so there we go. Trailer number two. That's it. So 
thoughts? Let's talk I about this. I think it started off quite promisingly. The exchange at the start is good. I like the the dynamic that they're drawing between Batman or Bruce Wayne and Clark Kent. Okay. Look, I was okay with it as well. I think um, the personas that they've had as Bruce Wayne... I think that's good. You know, it, it looks good. Yeah. Um, but, yeah, one thing that I didn't realize that you brought up is the fact that Bruce Wayne was driving himself to that... Now, in what world is Bruce Wayne driving was, himself to, It's supposed you know, to be Alfred. Al Alfred! Driving Alfred. Like, a, like an Aston Martin <laughs> yeah. or something. So... Yeah. I, I, that's I, not I, how you make an entrance, Bruce. Like, why am I telling you this? And then, um... Look, I was okay with all of that in, this, in the very initial start. And then... The setup is great. The setup was great. For me, it And wasn't anyway. then Lex like, Luthor comes into play, and that's when it starts... For me, everything starts going downhill. I'm okay with that, and like I think it's fair to say for you that you're not that attached to Lex Luthor that you're gonna. I'm not, but I would have. But thought... it's, it is, it's not a Lex Luthor that you recognize, is it? It's not. It absolutely it isn't. I mean, it's just the way Jesse Eisenberg plays him, probably. And I'm hoping, I'm really hoping that there is gonna be another, um, what, another personality to him, almost like oh, he'll behind closed doors. Yeah. yeah, like behind closed doors, and not in front of the public. He's gonna be this twisted, dark, evil, menacing, you know, sinister. Villain. Which would be more that would be cool and, and fitting for yeah. the character. So if they do it that way, um, where in in public he's like this, you know, what what's the word for it? They're all playing characters, extroverted. In public. Yeah, you know, yeah, yeah, yeah. Hey, like Bruce Wayne is someone in public, yeah. and, and Clark Kent. That would someone. be cool, but I can't see that happening. I think it's fine, even if that is, even if this version of Lex Luthor is over the top, very unhinged, and he's got this. He's a maniac, but he's mm. also. Almost like a Joker type character. I mean, obviously, you can't have him becoming the Joker. Hmm. But that, I think that's fine. He sort of used that uh, that line because didn't in the first trailer said, you know, what the greatest lie is that the what something like the the in this one he says that power is innocent, right? Hmm. That's the greatest lie in history. And I believe in the first trailer he says something like the greatest lie in history is that um, gods don't come from. The heavens, or you know, they come from the hells below, or something like that. I don't even remember because I erased all those trailers out of my memory, really? my brain. I thought the first trailer that we saw was more effective than this one. It was because this one. So this this is where the problem I've got with this. It tells you the whole movie all within the three minutes of that trailer. Everything. Well, everything. And it tells us every beat of the movie. Right. And the thing is, you know me. Usually, I'm okay with uh, spoilers. I'm like, eh, it's okay. Let me know what happens here. As long as it's not like a big reveal, but. Generally, spoilers, I'm like, okay, it's no big deal. Well, I guess you this... don't really consider that a spoiler, do you? Like, if, if I told you, and I, this isn't spoiling it for anyone, I guess mm. comic book fans kind of knew this was going to happen. Right. In some way, like the Batman and Superman, mm. they were going to come together, and then there was going to be some sort of thing that brings them together. Together for the, like, hey, we need to team up to be yeah. this evil person. You can tell it's going to be... It, that's but this trailer is be. telling you, it, it's telling it to us. Yeah, it's, it's confirming it's what we're showing we, and telling straight away. So yeah. you know what's going to happen. Like there was, there's always going to be an element of doubt. But in this case, that's not going to happen. And I have a problem with Doomsday. Well, what 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 problem do you have with Doomsday? I well, have what the problem we'll that seen? now Dooms is see, and I'm assuming right. I'm hoping that they'll prove me wrong when the movie comes out. But it seems that Jesse Eisenberg slash Lex Luthor is now Doctor Frankenstein, who on the corpse of. General Zod creates this monstrosity. Now that to me Doomsday. is that to me is not out of the out of character for Luther. I don't mind Alex Luther who would take a dead body and try to pull apart its DNA and try to find something that's gonna beat this mm. all powerful alien. That to me is fine, um, but it is weird because you do see him in a, in a like a, a science suit and he's like wheeling. Presumably, he's telling them to wheel the body General of Zod, Zod yeah. in. It seems to me that we're going to get Doomsday. They haven't said it, but I think it's quite clear that this is Doomsday. He's got the spikes. What do you think about the look of Doomsday? He doesn't look menacing. No color. He, does, he doesn't look menacing to me. Like, in the comics, he looks a bit more... Like, now he looks a bit dated, right? But back then, when you look at Doomsday with the... Well, he had the spikes, yeah. He had the spikes and, yeah. and everything, right? Like, just, just crap poking tail. out everywhere. And that was pretty badass, right? But now it's just like, oh, he's just We've a bad seen guy. very little of him, yeah, and it is... Unless, unless in the movie somehow he's like when he gets angrier, more he could, spikes come. Like well, whatever. you know, like True. why why ruin with a formula? You know, he's gonna get angry. He's gonna become more powerful. You know, know. It, it, I, I think the formula works in in comic book movies. Mm. It could happen. We haven't seen much of Doomsday, but as you said, we have almost every beat of this movie together. I kind of get the feeling that whoever put this trailer together 
they were under orders from someone, be it marketing or, mm, you know, they mm, said that mm, you have mm, to show mm, us Batman and Superman fighting, you have to show us Wonder Woman, you got to show us the villain. Doomsday, if they're going to make toys of this movie, and I imagine they would, we're going to see what Doomsday looks like anyway. True. Very true. But it seems to me that they want, they had to hit all of these notes so that it would pass the... The I, I don't know whoever wanted this trailer to be out. It, it seems to me that they had all these things that they had to touch on. It would have been better if they didn't even reveal Doomsday. I, I thought that would be well. Really there was cool. no reason to reveal Doomsday. That would be cool, right? Can you can you imagine if you had no idea and you're like, oh, it's just going to be a Batman and Superman um, fight, and then you go into the film when towards the end the big battle is. Have you read Doomsday, the you're like, ha, what? Have you read the the book Trinity? That book. Matt Wagner, I think. I can't the, remember. I don't. Oh, I it, it was something that. like you know, Batman and Superman. Like Wonder Woman gets this vision that Batman, uh, that Superman is gonna destroy something or other, and so she goes to hunt Superman. And it turns out that, spoiler alert, if you haven't seen, if you haven't read, wait, how old book, is this book? This is. I'm gonna five say years, two years. It's one more one? than five years. I'm gonna say it's more even, than five years. It's more than. It's ten to fifteen years, I would think. In that case, it's not a spoiler. It's I recommend. Years. Uh, I, it, Come spoiler on. alert! Come it's on. a good book. You should read it. But as I recall it, what happens is that Wonder Woman gets this vision that Superman is gonna destroy Paradise Island or something. The twist is that she actually gets a vision of Bizarro. Okay, and, and Bizarro is gonna. Mm. And, and so they, they all team up together now. So there was the reason I bring all of that up is that we knew that in this movie. <laughs> Something like that was going to happen. Batman and Superman would be at odds, and there was going to be some common enemy which would unite them together, and then it would spin off into presumably Justice League Justice or, League. Or, or you know, mm. the Aquaman movie, Flash movie, whatever. We'll we'll get onto that. Those cyborg movie. Mo yeah, we'll get onto that <laughs> later because I, I I don't know if I really agree with what they're doing. Oh, I definitely disagree with what they're doing. But regardless, this trailer has spelled out everything for us. Yep. Yes, it has. I think that the movie is going to be probably fairly shallow. There's not going to be much to it. Um, th there's going to be cool portrayals of Batman or Bruce Wayne. Mm -hmm. But outside of that, I mean, and, and maybe I'm blinded because I just love the, the characters so much. I, I am, I'm certainly going to watch this movie on, if not opening night, opening week. Are you no. going to pay money to watch this movie? I don't know, probably. You don't know? Well, how about wait, wait. I'm not going to go out of my way to organize it. If my mates organize it, then I'll be like, yeah, I'll join you guys. But I'm not going to be like, oh, I'm going to have definitely buy tickets. I'm definitely going to If none of that. your friends outside of me were going to go watch it, would you not watch the movie? I'll be like, yeah, maybe I'll, I'll get to it. How? Oh, man. I'll this, get to it. But this is like Batman. It, it, it's monumental, don't you think? No, because all the We've trailers... We've never seen Batman and Superman hold live on, action. Hold on, All the trailers that I've seen so far, it has not gotten me excited. All the Marvel trailers that I've seen every single time has got me excited, and I really wanted to. That watch I will, that I will agree with. So for uh, this, I'm all worried. the Marvel trailers, and we're going to talk about in later episodes about Captain yeah. America, yeah. And, and and we'll do Star Wars as well. Yeah. But this, I agree that this trailer, it has made me a little bit less excited mm. compared to the very first trailer. I quite liked the first trailer. Um, it didn't give it, too much away, right? It didn't have too much of a reveal, but it gave a little bit. I was that trailer worried. was basically Batman vs. Superman, which is. is what the movie's called. Now, this movie right. is Batman vs. Superman, Dawn of Justice. You might as well call it the Trinity. You might as well call it Batman, Superman, Wonder Woman. You could call it, I don't know, anything but Batman vs. Superman. At the end, they're all buddy-buddy. It's like they have... It's like... They're having the exchange, like, it's a cop movie, like, oh, I thought she's with you, you know? Like, <laughs> it, now, is, it is like a buddy cop movie. <laughs> what do you think of the voice? Uh, I, I wanted to uh, voice, talk about Batman's the voice? voice of Batman, yeah. So he sounds a little bit like He's the, got the, voc the, um, like the, the voice, voice changer, yeah. yeah. Which we sort right. of heard. I think it's cool. Remember there was that leaked footage about how, um, you know, like, can you bleed, you know, we're going to find out. Mm. Yeah, I, I think it's pretty cool. Mm. I, it's... I'm a big fan of Christian Bale, I'm a big fan of the Dark Knight, the Nolan Dark Knight trilogy, but this voice is far superior. I think it's a good voice. Because it's got an electric sort of noise, like a... Which works. Yeah, I mean, if you're going to mask your voice, you know, yeah. that would be the way no, to go. I think it's cool. I uh, have no problem with it. The... But um, Batman with a gun. That's another thing that was kind of weird as well. Batman with a gun. Batman with a trench coat. You have different versions of Batman now. <laughs> this, this Batman with a trench coat, <laughs> I don't, I don't me. really have a big issue with that. I do, because why does Batman need a trench coat? <laughs> why does he need a trench coat? Well, now this is... A sleeveless trench coat? It's a... Okay, so <laughs> <Or> in <laughs> that... We've seen, well, you're this. referring to that teaser trailer which amounted to very, the very little, um, that on the, you know, when he's like, um, he's presumably, tied up. yeah, but he's, he's tied, tied up, up Superman comes, comes out, and he's, mask off. yeah, which to me was a pretty big reveal, like, that, I thought that, that was going to be a pretty big, mm -hmm. um, moment in, yeah, in the movie. Why does he have a trench coat? I don't get it. 
Well, I mean, it's, it's, it could be a me, reference to... No, no, but to me, it just tells me toys. Sell toys. You have this version of Batman. We have, you have Metal Damage Batman. We have clean Batman. Batman well, with a gun. Maybe he's in a trench coat this. because he's like he's in this dusty sort of um, place, so he needs something that's colored, you know, like a sand color. And it's windy. Camouflage so Batman. It's windy, so he doesn't want his cape blowing everywhere, so the trench coat's going to keep it down. And he no, needs but the to trench coat will go everywhere as well. You can tie the trench coat, you know, and, and he's got the spikes on his arm, you know. Oh my gosh. Look, I, I, I'm trying to piece together a lot of... <laughs> I'm making a lot of leaps. It, it's, it's probably a dream sequence like our good buddy Luke has mentioned before. But I also agree with you that it is going to be a, a, a marketed to have a lot of toys, which I'm fine with. Like, we saw the Batmobile, right? And yeah. we saw the the bat wing. We saw very little of them. Mm. I think they look pretty cool. Mm. You, what, you're, you're, no, no, no. We, I, again, we I don't know what to make. Look, I don't know what to make of it. The, he's shooting I'm just, Superman, and you know, I'm just, you know what? Up. I'm just. There are really, cool moments in this movie. All right, there will I'm, be cool I'm, moments in this movie. I'm just really skeptical about this whole movie because every trailer I've watched, I've been worried. Every time I've watched something, I'm, uh, I'm always like, ooh. I don't know if that's going in the right direction. It doesn't happen sense, a right? lot, but I agree with you on that. Mm -hmm. uh, th this does get put a little bit of caution for 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 myself right. as, a, as a big well, Batman fan. Look, I, I am really hoping that this trailer has thrown us off a little bit in the sense of it doesn't show us what, what's really going to happen, maybe. For example... It one, has to one, keep one a few things, things up its sleeve, right? right? Exactly. And one of the things that I know, like, there are, there are other people who analyze the, the previous trailers. There was one scene where Batman goes onto the uh, the wall and then you see the laser beam shoot out and he, he like, he shoots, shoots yeah, it, yeah. He, he goes off. That, to me now, showing Doomsday seems to be Doomsday, Doomsday doing it, whereas yeah. everyone else is like, oh, it's... And I guess we did so. see that, you know, we did see the uh, Doomsday, presumably Doomsday, shooting Shoot something. Yeah, so, so I'm hoping that there's going to be something more that we're going to be like, what? That wasn't going to happen, but... Now, I, they, I, yeah. they haven't shown us Aquaman or Flash or Cyborg or anything like that. Please don't. Just just leave it out of it. I, Do you think there's going to be any more trials? Because there's going to be TV spots, oh, please, right? Please don't. I assume there'll be a, tri a TV spot where we see Superman being all, um, you know, doing action. There'll be a TV spot with Batman. There'll be a TV spot with Wonder Woman. Mm. <laughs> If there is a TV spot with um, Aquaman and Flash, then I guess like, they're going to be very... <laughs> <laughs> that would be pretty cool. That, you know. <laughs> but they, they're doing the op seeming, presumably the opposite of Marvel where they're going to have this Justice League movie, almost mm. this Trinity movie, and they're going to branch it off into the, the different ones. Which I guess they just want to be different from Marvel, but it's a formula that works. I, I think it's Marvel has got the formula it. right. They know what they're doing. These guys are still trying to work it out. Which is fair, but just... Don't, please. Just don't. Well, what did you guys think about this trailer? I still think that it's worth watching. Mm. Uh, I think it's worth paying money for. Mm. Much like my thoughts on the third Transformers movie, if the last hour of the movie is just one giant action movie, I will have gotten my money's worth. It's... It, it could, uh, look, I... I that's I, what... I have nothing to do. It could good. be. It's just going to be like Batman and Superman. They're fighting and then they fight dudes and Wonder Woman comes so, in. And give me an hour of that. So I've got nothing good to say about this trailer or this movie that's coming up. Jose, I'm sure you're going to comment below anything that Jose says Are I'm you gonna probably going to agree with. I really? probably am going to agree with classic Jose, which is a bit bizarre. But hey, that's what it is what it is. Well, let us know what you think. Comment below. Don't forget to like us on Facebook. We are back. We've got more episodes coming down. Mm -hmm. So until then, guys... See you next time. See you next time.